Today I chose a subject for this session that causes for many of the young cellists at first some problems and they struggle with it for quite a long time. I'm talking about the sautier, which is French and means jumping. So the bow is jumping on the string. <laughs> You know, once you understand the principle behind it, it actually goes almost by itself. What we have to understand first is that in the sautier there is only a very small action necessary, since we use short bow strokes for fast notes. Very small action. Now, if we paint a wall, for example, we need the whole arm for it. If we do a little smaller action, like for example waving at somebody, we just need our forearm to do that. But if we do a very small action, like, for example, drawing something with a pen very carefully, then we only need flexibility in our wrist and our fingers. On the stringed instruments, it's exactly the same. If we are playing slow notes where we need the whole bow, then we use our whole arm for it. <laughs> was a little faster, we use only half of the bow and half of the arm. And if the tempo gets even faster, we need less bow and less bow and the motion becomes smaller and smaller. Now before we analyze the exact motion when using the sautier bowing, we need to do a little preparing exercise together in order to get a very flexible, loose wrist. And therefore, please do it with me together, therefore we do circle motion with our forearm and we completely relax the wrist and the fingers. We do it clockwise first and then also counterclockwise. So in both directions. And we just turn our forearm and the wrist and the fingers are just completely loose. You can also just shake, shake your hand like this in all directions, up and down, sideways. Just make sure you're not turning your wrist. Don't do any action with your wrist actually. It's only reacting because the impulse comes from the arm. So first of all, you have to get aware of your joints, yeah? your, your wrists and your finger joints. They should all become completely loose and relaxed because this is what we need when we play sautier. Let's do an experiment together. Press your index and your thumb of your right hand together firmly. And then do this down, up, down, up stroke motion with your forearm. You will see that if you press those two fingers firmly together, your wrist will be quite stiff and your hand is building a unit with your forearm. But as soon as you start to reduce pressure between thumb and first finger, the wrist is going to be flexible and relax. Now I press the fingers together, do the same please, and feel this unit here. And now reduce pressure and you will see, continuing the same movement with your arm, your wrist becomes completely loose and relaxed. Can you feel it? So it's only a question of pressure of your thumb, actually. 
And for the sautier, we need to reduce the pressure of our thumb. That's already all. Of course, it is very important that your thumb is always in a round position at the frog so that it's flexible and your whole hand is flexible. If you press your thumb like this, everything is tight and you have no possibility of relaxing your wrist. So this is really required, a round, flexible thumb at your bow. You can practice this using scales, always playing eight notes on the string, a la corda, with a good contact of your thumb and the rest of the fingers, and then, little by little, losing the contact, reducing the pressure, and the second eight notes you are playing sautier. Sounds like this. <laughs> Just practice groups of four with sautier. So you see that everything is completely relaxed. All your joints, all the joints of your fingers and your wrist completely loose, no tension at all. So we are just using this very small motion, this very small action for small notes. Of course, the impulse comes from the forearm. So it's actually here, the motor, if you want, is doing this. But since there's no tension here, we have a loose wrist and completely flexible fingers that allow our bow to play, to jump, to do whatever we should do. <laughs> Enjoy your sautier whenever you need it.